Tonight we're talking about PCOS. It's a hormone imbalance in women. And if you don't know what the acronym stands for, Dr. Shasta is here to talk more about it. Good evening. Good evening, Erica. PCOS stands for polycystic ovary syndrome that affects one in 10 women in the United States. Wow. What, what's the problem is that in these women, their ovaries produces androgenic hormone. Those are male hormones such as testosterone, mm -hmm. too much of it. And when that happens, if you look at the structure of the ovaries, this is a normal one. But when too much testosterone is produced, that prevents ovulation and release of the eggs. So instead of being released regularly, they form a cyst, and that's what you see over here, polycystic ovary syndrome. You talked about one in 10 women can have this disease. What causes it? That's a good question, actually, Erica. We don't know exact cause of it, but quite few research shows one of the major contributing factors for PCOS is insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. Insulin resistance is a condition these women's body cannot use insulin properly. Insulin is a hormone that allows the sugar to get into the cell. When they cannot utilize insulin, their blood sugar stay higher. So body to compensate for that, they produce even more insulin. And interesting enough that too much insulin goes to their ovaries and makes the ovaries produce more testosterone that mm -hmm. aggravates the entire symptom. And insulin resistance also causes another problem, Erica, that causes significant amount of weight gain. And most of the weight gain in these women with PCOS is, comes in the belly area mm -hmm. because of insulin and also testosterone just pushes the fat into the belly area. And also most of them have a difficulty to lose weight because as long as insulin is high, very difficult to lose weight. Doesn't mean that they cannot, but it's very more difficult in PCOS patients. Is this something that people are born with or is this something you can develop when you have issues like weight gain or insulin resistance from other parts of your life? Actually what happens is that most of it happens after menstruation start. Okay. And sometimes genetic history ha mm -hmm. happens. But one of the major things that happens actually is insulin resistance. As more weight they gain, they aggravate the situation and triggers that. And also most of these patients have a pre-diabetes situation, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. And as I indicated, when the body produces too much insulin, leads to production of too much testosterone to cause a symptom of it, such as acne, facial hair, Erica, and hair loss we see over there, irregular periods, and even infertility. And also in most of these patients, because of abnormal sugar that up and down, they have a significant amount of craving for sweets and starches, which aggravates the situation. More starch, the sugar they eat, more insulin to produce. Not only they gain more weight, but also produce more testosterone and aggravates it. Those are some pretty severe symptoms. Is there anything that people can do to reverse it or at least help with some of those symptoms? Excellent question, Erica. Although we do not have a cure, but yes, through the one of the best way to reverse these symptoms and actually establish a period, and even in most cases, uh, solve the infertilities, changing lifestyle. Erica, it's very critical these patients follow a certain diet is especially designed for PCOS patient. Sugar is limited significantly, a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables, and plenty of protein every meal to stabilize that sugar that brings the insulin down. And also, Erica, exercise, absolutely major component of it. Exercise reduces the insulin, less insulin, less testosterone, more, less symptom, and also less insulin they have, significant amount of, they can have a significant amount of weight loss. And also exercise cause their stress also release. Stress is also is a cortisol, is inflammatory hormone, and cause the body to produce more insulin and aggravate the situation. Yes, absolutely, through the nutrition, exercise, and lifestyle changes, yeah. most of these PCOS patients can solve most of their symptom and, and not only include weight, but also symptom of that related to too much testosterone in their body. Good information tonight. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank we appreciate you. it. If you have any other questions about PCOS or, or think you might have some of those symptoms, you'd like some more information, you can contact Dr. Shiesta at the number there on your screen. That initial consultation is always free. And if you missed this segment or you'd like to watch it again for more information, you can go to our website, wkbn.com.